G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today I've got a uh, budget pair of goggles here, FPV goggles from Eshine. These are the EV800 DMs and uh, for what you get for the price, it looks like they're possibly one of the better budget goggles out there because these ones actually have dual diversity receivers. They've got uh, a DVR built in, long battery life as well, and uh, claiming to be uh, friendly to people that wear glasses. So as you can see here, they have a varifocal lens, glasses fit, so they are friendly to people who wear glasses. Now that's pretty important to a lot of people out there that want to get into FPV and that do wear prescription eyeglasses and um, unfortunately not all box goggles are accommodating to those people where they wear glasses and need them to see you know perfectly especially through a fpv um you know screen so um that's very important to some people so it's good to see that e-sheen with this particular model of of uh, goggles here they do accommodate to those people that wear eyewear uh also has replay function so this being having a dvr as you can see there dvr mini um you can replay all your flights or maybe even driving around with a RC car FPV as well. You don't have to be uh, in the air, but uh, yeah, you can uh, replay all your uh, flights or drives or whatever you happen to do with this uh, this goggle. Now, as you can see, it's got diversity race band. It has a 40 channel uh, receiver in there. Auto searching as well. Now this one has a mini three inch uh, LCD screen. They claim that it's HD. And it actually has an, a pretty decent pixelation there of 900 by 600 pixels on the screen. So that's uh, that's going to look pretty decent. Uh, and it has a built-in 3.8 uh, one-cell battery. It's a high-voltage uh, one-cell battery by the look of it. Uh, that's a 2,000 milliamp hour size. And they claim around two to two and a half hours running time uh, with that battery. So that's pretty decent uh, time for the usage of these goggles. So we've got a little bit of information on the sides here. Not a whole lot, just some diagrams there. There's a optical lens, which is optional. I guess you can buy that uh, on the on the website as well. It's going on about how uh, the, the glasses, uh, you can wear your glasses with it, okay? And HD DVR. Now on the bottom here, it shows you all the bands and frequencies, guys. So you got your Standard uh, bands here, including the race band there. Uh, by you know, so you got your five uh, bands there, and uh, eight channels per band. So you got forty channels all up. All right, guys. So let's have a look in the box, and uh, we'll see what we get with this uh, EV eight hundred DM goggles. And then later on, I'll be using them out at the field, and we'll see how they perform. Okay, so when you open the box, you get this protective uh, bit of foam there. Also have the uh, instruction manual or quick start guide. Pretty much like what it says on the box. So here's some of your features here. Okay, so the DVR actually records in 720p by 576. HD resolution. Okay, so it goes through. You can pause this if you like. Goes through all the specs here, guys. Okay, so it can accept 2 to 3S batteries there as a backup power source. Now, you don't get the cable to do that with this uh, actual um, goggles. You have to buy that aftermarket, but I only think it's a couple of dollars, actually. It doesn't cost that much. Okay. Well, it's lightweight, 320 grams, with a 2.2 hour, like I said before, 2.2 hour uh, running time. Okay. Dual diversity function. It goes on to the varifocal uh, lens there it's fully adjustable by 20 millimeters in in and out okay and there's the specs of the glasses that it will fit okay so you can pause this at any time guys and there's the table again okay all right so on the back here it just shows you uh all the operation of the buttons here as well all right so let's uh, also see that we have 
We have a cleaning cloth, which is nice for the uh, for the screen. It becomes a bit dirty. And in this bag here, we have the looks like the AV out, AV in, AV out cord. So you can hook this up to a secondary monitor, I guess. We have uh, two antennas here, obviously, because the dual diversity uh, and dual antenna goggle. Here is the Esheen patch antenna, standard patch antenna. Also have this mushroom style antenna. Okay, now inside here, if you took this cap off, it will have probably a right hand polarized uh, clover leaf inside there for omnidirection. Here is one part of the, uh, well, this is a charging cable. Okay, so USB to this little, uh, probably a two millimeter jack. And in here, we just have the uh, little charging brick that will connect to the, uh, to the USB cable. So you just plug that in and then that into your wall. Now this one looks like a US style uh, wall uh, plug. Um, so I just have to put uh, the, you know, one of those international adapters there to plug it into my wall socket here in Australia, okay? Okay, so let's have a quick look at the goggles before I try them out. Now, these are very lightweight, which is a good thing. They only weigh 320 grams, like I mentioned. Um, which is a good thing, you know, you don't want a heavy set of goggles, especially box goggles hanging off your face because you end up with like a sore nose on the bridge of your nose and, you know, they become very uncomfortable after a while. But, uh, as you can see, we have a three-way adjustable strap here. So you can adjust it from the sides and the top of your head there. Okay. Nice little e-sheen backing patch there. Okay. And, um, it's got a pretty decent thick foam that goes right around it as well there is no foam that I could see from for the uh, the bridge of your nose though uh, hopefully that doesn't pose a problem um, and hopefully there's not much light leakage from the bottom there some actually uh, set of goggles pack a bit of foam but you could add your own I guess if uh, if need be okay so there is a screen inside there the three inch LCD screen and uh, to adjust these ones, you just pop them out. And like they say in the specs, there's a two or 20, sorry, millimeter length to adjust these varifocal lenses here. So it's pretty decent. You can go out that far and bring it in. Okay. So um, here are the uh, antennas, obviously. You got to put the antennas on before you actually turn on these uh, these goggles. Otherwise, you will burn these out. So make sure do not ever turn on a set of goggles without the antennas uh, installed. There is the channel and band uh, button here. We've got our on and off button. See how I quickly pressed it? I'll probably have to hold that down. Uh, it shows the uh, green LED source and menu button there. Okay. Now on the underside, there are more buttons here. So you got your, your search, okay, to search your channels. This has a auto searching function. So just click that and it will auto search. We have our DC five volt, uh, you know, input there. That's to charge up the um, battery. And you can actually see, see that blue through those vents. That's where the, it looks like that's where the little lipo is inside the goggle. Here is your DVR SD card slot, okay, to record all your flights. Now, um, they're saying here that it does record in uh, 720p, or 720 by 576 pixels. They do, however, state that uh, you should use a class 10 card uh, to get the full frame rate. So you don't get any lost frames as well, guys. All right. So make sure you don't use a real cheapo, you know, generic uh, card that has no class rating. Make sure you use a high quality uh, class 10 uh, SD card. Here's the AV in or the headphone jack as well. Okay. So you can, if your uh, FPV system has 
audio, like a microphone. I guess you could hear hear the uh, the actual, you know, the flight of your quad. Maybe you'd be able to hear the motors running, um, you know, while you're going FPV if you put your headset on there. And this looks like you can take a picture or record. So yeah, so you can. It looks like you've got two functions. Maybe a quick press to take a picture, FPV snapshot and hold it down to start recording. Okay guys? So um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll put the antennas on, we'll see if there's any uh, battery life in this LiPo, because it hasn't been charged. Just got it out of the box now, so we'll see if we can see the LCD display. All right guys, I'm gonna turn it on now. There we go. So you're greeted with that uh, home screen. Okay, now as you can see on the display there, it shows the diversity, the channel and band, and the battery life. Now these are fully charged. <laughs> All right, so they happen to be fully charged. Now on the top uh, right, you've got the uh, source and menu button. I'm going to press that. You have to hold it down. And there it shows you all your uh, different uh, options there. Oh, you've got to hold it down. It's got, it's a times out. Okay, so there's no file. Okay, for the DVR, currently, obviously. Get out of that. You've got to press the uh, power button to get out of it. So let's get back into the menu again. And then we can scroll down by pressing the menu button again. Okay, so you've got your brightness. It does time out rather quickly, so you've got to be quick. Now, to go up on the, on the dial here, you have to press this search button on the bottom to go the other way it's rather odd you got to press the channel band on the top so just keep that in mind okay, so you just got to keep that in mind to set things to lower you have to use the top button to set things higher you got to use the bottom right search button so it can be a bit confusing there's a contrast color sharpness rotation volume if you have your headset uh, plugged in, OSD on or off, and you got different languages, all right, guys? So that's pretty much the menus covered, all right? And uh, I'll turn it off now. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's just a quick overview on these Esheen EV800DM uh, goggles. Now I'm just gonna take it outside, uh, hook it up to, I might hook it up to one of my drones, and uh, yeah, go for a bit of a fly around, see how they perform, being that they are dual diversity. All right, guys, so they'll be coming up next. Okay, guys, I'm out here with the eSheen goggles, okay? Now, I've got a 16 gigabyte SD card. It's a class 10 one, just underneath the SD card slot there, all right? And um, first off, I'm gonna fly a couple of quads today. I'm gonna just take out the old X5C for a bit of fun. The 200 milliwatt uh, all-in-one camera with a separate battery to power it. Jumper TX and uh, what I'm going to do first is try the stock antennas here. Okay, the patch antenna and this um, mushroom or clover leaf antenna, omnidirectional, I guess you could call it. And uh, I've got my Omway uh, and a real ACC triple feed patch that I'm going to try. So there might be two clips of each. Uh, drone flying around okay one with the stock and then i'll swap it over to the aftermarket antennas here and uh that'll be it and then i'll give you my conclusion on these goggles all right guys so uh enjoy the clips of the flights
Okay guys, well I'm pretty much finished up for the day now of flying, uh, mainly due to the fact that I'm having problems with all these 1S LiPos guys. I'm um, pretty disappointed actually, especially with these ones here. These are my uh, brand new, this is the first time they've been used, they're my brand new GMB LiPos here, high voltage of course, uh, 30 to 60 C, 350 milliamp hour. I've got two of them here that I brought with me today, I bought a pack of five, and um, <laughs> they're garbage. Uh, you know, they were just losing voltage really quickly, had a bit of voltage sag as well, and yeah, I'm not happy with them at all, and they're brand new. They're just, they're just as bad as my original uh, Happy Model ones here. But anyway, I got a, f a bit of uh, sample footage there with the Mobula and the Tiny Hawk 1. Uh, you'd notice that the Tiny Hawk 1, this is the original VTX guys, and they were known to be garbage, and this one is garbage, 25 milliwatts. And it can only fly like 30 meters away before it broke up, so that wasn't the goggles fault with the uh, with the reception there's definitely the VTX on that but anyway this we're not here to talk about these uh, whoops um, yeah pretty happy with these goggles guys overall uh, I thought they performed rather well I was very surprised about these stock antennas um, when I flew the whoops I didn't change the antennas over I just ran these stock ones uh, but on my first flight with the SEMA X5C the first flight I flew with these and I got exceptional range especially fairly you know a way out there on the on the field and near the college there had very good range with these guys no breakups at all but uh on the second flight which i'll put an annotation on the screen i said i was going to try these ones out uh the heli cow here from onway and the triple feed patch from real acc now even though these are pretty decent uh you know aftermarket antennas i actually found i had better reception with these two guys so yeah, these stock ones, don't let them fool you, they're pretty darn good uh, for this, you know, goggle uh, set. Um, overall, the goggles are pretty good. I like the resolution of the screen, and hopefully that will convert to the DVR footage. It is supposed to have a very similar resolution. Yeah, I really like the, um, the adjustability of this monitor here. You can push it all the way out, which is how I actually flew all my flights today, guys. Uh, it, it suited me, my eyes, you know, the best, um, having it all the way out. It can go out 20 millimeters or two centimeters out, which is how I, how I was flying. It was uh, very, very clear for my eyes. And um, the fact that you can wear glasses with these is uh, also a great option, okay, guys? So all in all, for the price, uh, around 100 bucks, I think they are. This is a pretty good uh, entry-level pair of box goggles um my other box goggles don't have the focus adjustment there either so yeah very handy to have um the only one gripe about this is basically on Eshin's part i wish they um gave you a proper user manual now in the box guys they gave you that leaflet that i showed you and that's more of like a quick start guide and uh, it doesn't tell you anything really uh, especially when it comes to uh, your menus uh, once you get into the menus via that button there the source and menu uh, when you want to navigate uh, through the sub menus like for example adjust the brightness and just the contrast and all the other features that uh, below that um, I noticed that you have to use this button here the channel band to lower the actual digits okay but to to make them higher like to, to gain the brightness up brighter or whatever you have to use one of these buttons here on the bottom so I don't know why they did that I wonder why they did that when they use these two buttons is your up and down buttons rather than having a left button here and then on the opposite on this right hand side on the bottom you have to use a search button so that was rather odd also the playback feature guys um, they don't really tell you how to use that as well that took me a little while to figure out um, you have to basically go in the menu here and then select it and then um, to play back your videos you have to actually hold that pick and record button down for a couple of seconds now if you press the search button I think it is to try to start playing it will come up with the would you like to delete you know your file and uh, you definitely don't want to do that so I wish Esheen included the a proper instruction manual just to let you know rather than having to try to work it out yourself because the last thing you want to do especially if you're new to the hobby and maybe you know or new to these goggles 
you know, if you're flying at a distance away, maybe your, your drone or something flies away on you, or your plane, or whatever you're using for FPV, even an RC truck, you know, if it doesn't have a fail safe, it might take off on you. If you've got FPV feed, and uh, you want to find exactly where you've lost your drone or helicopter or whatever you're using for FPV, you want to be able to play it back without deleting it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what you got to do, guys. You've got to use the pick and record button and hold it down, okay? If you get the prompt where it says, um, would you like to delete the file, yes or no, quickly get out of it by pressing the on and off switch and they'll get you out of it, all right, guys? So. I just thought I'll make mention of that because the user manual that's provided with it isn't really a user manual, it's a quick start guide and to be honest it kind of sucks. So <laughs> all in all guys, that's my conclusion to this one. I do like them, I am going to use them from now on over my Shine Halos which I've had a, a, for a couple of years now. Um, I like the reception of these being the, with these stock antennas. I will play around with different antennas as well later on down the track but uh, all in all very comfortable i'm talking only on my opinion for me they're very comfortable um the screen is nice and clear um, dvr recordings it can take a 16 gigabyte card um make sure it's a class 10. uh yeah very comfortable uh, the foam padding is very comfortable on your face i didn't notice any light leakage so uh yeah I do recommend these guys as a budget starter goggle for FPV. All right, guys, so links will be below. If you're interested in this one, you can check all the specs and uh, decide whether this one might be for you. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm going to wrap this up and head off home now, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. If, if, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and have a great weekend. Until then, happy flying, guys. Bye for now.